Oh, I didn't have sound because I didn't have this shit on. I'm a genius, dude. I'm a freaking genius. Previously on Alan Wake, I came to Bright Falls with my wife, Alice. Thank you for coming here with me. I thought maybe you could write here. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. Now, she's missing. Alice? 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 Behind the wheel of a crashed car, I'm missing a week. I was attacked by shadowy men straight from a nightmare. The sheriff took me to the lake Alice and I had stayed at, but the cabin had disappeared. I'm home. Back here, sweetie. How was it? Worst weather I've ever seen. You should put some coffee on. It'll warm you up. Hey, handsome. This is going to be a long night. What I do with a fucking coffee? Great. I guess you're going to need that coffee then. I'll go put it on. All I do is pick up coffee thermoses and I have no idea what you do with them. Coffee's on. Great, thanks. I'll need it if I'm gonna finish this by tomorrow. Oh, hey, I just finished those. Yo, what's up, Brock? They're on your desk. Tell me what you think. No kidding. I didn't think you'd get them done this quickly. On occasion, I can perform all sorts of miracles, my dear. Oh, really? Well, you seem to think so last night. These look really good. Oh, sure, until Barry gets his hands on them. Which, by the way, will happen over my dead body. The last time was the last time. Oh, and speaking of Barry, he called. <gasps> Return your sender, Alan! what I can't forget. Alan, please check the fuse box. I'm right here. I'm on it, honey. Please hurry. Where the hell is the fuse box? Yeah, shut up. Like I'm not supposed to know where the fuse right box here, is. I'm right here, baby. I'm fine, I'm fine. Just get the lights back on. Now, please. Honey, it's a power outage. I I've got the flashlight. Okay. Hi. You okay? I'm sorry. I just... It just really spooked me. Don't worry. We'll just break out the candles. I know it's stupid, but it's especially when I'm not prepared for it, you know? It gets to me. I love you. Tell me a story, writer. Okay. <clears throat> I used to have these nightmares when I was a kid. The dark really spooked me, too. When it got really bad, my mom gave me this old light switch. She called it the clicker. The clicker, huh? Yeah. If I ever got scared of the dark, I could just flip the switch and a magic light would scare the monsters away. Oh, sure. Here it is. Alan. Maybe it'll help you, too. <laughs> yeah, nice story, writer boy. You made that up right now, didn't you? No, no. <laughs> Seriously. I love you, even if you are a liar. Thanks for this. Oh. Oh. Back to present day. Hmm. 
How do you feel, Mr. Wick? Any nausea, disorientation, anything like that? Mr. Wick, how are you feeling? I'm okay. My head's fine. I had to lie about my headache and memory loss. He'd send me to a hospital for tests. I couldn't leave without Alice. Hmm, very well. Um, I don't think you have a concussion, but you've obviously been through quite a shock. You should take it easy for a couple of days. Thanks. Nah, Zig, I haven't. Well then, Mr. Wake, we're done here. If the pain gets any worse or you experience any other symptoms, you should come see me. I'll let you get on with it then. Sarah, uh, Sheriff Breaker, is waiting for you. She's very good. Sorry. I still gotta con fix my controls. The mouse sensitivity is still crazy. Yeah, I'll go for like full... Did her job. I'm sure she can locate your wife in no time. Doc Nelson was the image of a small town doctor. Sheriff Breaker had called him to the station to take a look at the cut in my head. Where the hell, Sarah? Thank you for testing the lights, Miss Weaver. Everything seems to be fine. I don't have the luxury of being complacent, Deputy Grant. The bulbs will need changing soon. You can't change them. Yeah, in it's uh, Mulligan here. Sure I'm at Stucky's gas station with Thornton. There's no sign of him. Over. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, yeah. this is Thornton. Look, we've located the brake float. It's here. That's some good news, right? Stucky was supposed to be driving it at the rehearsal today. Over. Oh, give me that. Mulligan here. Looks like someone really fresh in the garage. Over. Okay, watch that guy. Mr. Wake? The sheriff is waiting for you in her office down the corridor. Okay. Hey, 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 beat that signs. That was Cynthia Weaver. I guess you can call her the town eccentric. She used to be the editor of the local newspaper, but she's focused on um, yeah, that's guy, other things these days. That guy, Rich Saul, whatever, Saul, the first guy with the glasses looks like Jared from Subway, right? Am I right? Come in, Mr. Wake. Your phone's on the desk. The battery was dead. It's charged now. Have you started looking for my wife yet? My men are already on it. Now, can you tell me what happened? I'm not sure. I can't remember. We were arguing. I walked out of the cabin. The cabin on Cauldron Lake? How did you end up at Stucky's gas station? I wanted to tell her what had happened last night, but I couldn't. She'd lock me up. Excuse me, I need to take this. Hello? Alice, please help me. Alice? Stop talking to the law. You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife again. Who is this? Go to the back lot. There's a hole in the fence on the left. Look inside the junker. I left a little something there to convince you we're all on the same page here. After you ditch the cops, you're going to meet me in Elderwood National Park. There's a spot called Lover's Peak. Midnight. Don't do nothing stupid, pal. For watching you. Okay, pal. Mr. Wake, can I help you with anything? No. I need to get some air. The sheriff said I could go out back. Hey, of course, Mr. Mr. Wake. You can hey, get there through the cell corridor. The early morning light hurt my eyes and made my head ache. The man on the phone had said, go through the fence on the left. Well, folks, it's been another long night, and uh, it's about time for me to sign off for a while. God knows I need my beauty sleep. I got it, man. Let me just get on this fucking fence. Alice's driver's license had been placed on the front seat. The caller meant business. 
Oh. The caller had told me to find a hole in the fence behind the police station. There was something for me in an abandoned car. Barry? Ow! Ow! Thank God! Where the hell have you been? I've been trying to reach you for a week, you and Alice. Oh, I've been worried sick. I flew out yesterday. I'm here, here in Bright Falls. Barry, listen to me. I'm at the sheriff's station. Come and get me. I can't talk now. Ow! What the hell is going? I had to get the sheriff to let me go. I needed to get to Elderwood National Park to meet Alice's kidnappers. A writer is a light that reveals the world of his story from darkness, shapes it from nothingness. The way a sculptor carves a statue from a block of granite, if I stop, the world I'm making dies. Darkness will reclaim it. It's a long, hard journey into the dark. Alice's life is at stake, but I can't think about that, or I'll lose it. The dread lingers at the edge of perception. I'll push on. Anything is... Marvelous, Sarah. I just wanted to settle all the damage the Anderson brothers might have inadvertently caused on their recent and regret. Mr. Wake? I'd like to leave. Am I free to go? Well, we still need to talk about... Am I under arrest? No, of course not. But I need to know where you'll be staying so I can get in touch with you. I'd avoid the motel. The Majestic is known for its roaches. The cabins at Elderwood are pretty nice, though. That sounds perfect. I'm Dr. Emile Hartman. I'd like to invite you to stay at Cauldron Lake Lodge. Did you talk to my wife? I had the pleasure of discussing your situation with her on several occasions. Did you set something up with her? I invited her here. My clinic is a place where... Oh! Hey! Oh my! Take it easy. Assault, man. It's assault. Hey, nobody move. Get your hands off of my client. Who are you? I'm Barry Wheeler, his agent. If you have business with Mr. Wake, you talk to me. You yokels won't know what hit you once I sick my lawyers on your asses. No harm done, Sarah. I'm all right. I don't want to press charges. Mr. Wake, my offer still stands. Get me out of here. What the hell was that about, Al? We don't need a replay of that thing with the paparazzi. I thought they were gonna lock you up. Yeah, that jacket, though. I had to talk to someone. I told Barry everything. He thought I was certifiable, but when he heard about the manuscript, I had him. The fact that I'd written something, even if I couldn't remember it, was enough for him. He smelled money. And he believed that Alice had been kidnapped. Anything beyond that was another story. I had a midnight appointment with the kidnapper in a place called Lover's Peak, somewhere in Elderwood National Park. The plan was to rent a cabin. I don't like it, Al. I don't like any of it. It's not good. In fact, it's the absolute opposite of good. Mr. Wake! Barry, you found him! Hi, Rose. Oh, wow. I was just thinking about you, too. Great. I was just bringing Rusty some coffee. He's on the balcony, looking after Max. Poor thing. I really need to go. Great to see you again, Mr. Wake. Later! Who's Max? What an airhead. Jeez, Mr. Takes a swing at everybody. This is not her fault. She's a very nice girl and, more importantly, a fan. She even has a fan site dedicated to you. And she was very helpful when I was looking for you. Seriously, Al, what you were saying Wait in the here. car, just listen to yourself. Yeah, just, just listen to yourself. Easy there, boy. I'm almost done. Hey, Rusty, right? You rent cabins. Oh, Mr. Wake, I'd shake your hand, but mine are kind of full here. Actually, I'm sorry about this. Would you mind grabbing the registration form from the desk? It's just across from Bucktooth Charlie. Okay, sure. What happened? Crazy poachers. Max here got his foot caught in a trap. They're illegal to use you. Hell, shot a guy and his body just disappeared. When was the last time you life? slept? Well, are you high? Have you been drinking? No! Look, Barry, I'm missing a week. And someone's got Alice. Do you and everything's just. Do you understand what it sounds like when you say stuff like that? Don't get me wrong. It's a good story. Could be a bestseller. But when you start confusing fiction with reality, you're buying yourself a ticket to the funny farm. Seriously, Al, you can't just go and meet a kidnapper. Those situations always end up in disaster. 
You gotta talk to the cops. She's my wife, and it's my call. Can we talk about this later? No. This whole thing is... Listen, you hit your head. I mean, geez, Al, come on. You gotta understand how crazy all this sounds. If you're trying to pull a joke on me, freak me out, it's working. Ha-ha, <laughs> let's have a laugh on Barry. Well, you had me going there real funny, Al. You can quit it now. I think this is the form you wanted. And here are the keys. Okay, you're all set, Mr. Wake. Glad to have you staying here. Thanks. Can you tell me how to get to Lover's Peak? Oh, sure. It's at the end of the nature trail. Just follow the paths, you'll get to it eventually. It's an easy walk. Nice spot, too. Look, Al, you're asking me to believe that you shot a dude who went poof into thin air, a guy who was bulletproof until you pointed a flashlight at him. You hear that from people who end up spending time in padded rooms, strapped to their beds, wearing white shirts with two long tangled up sleeves, and eating a healthy diet of pills. Al, you make cruel jokes about people who believe that kind of stuff. You're the skeptic. You gave me an hour-long lecture on homeopathy last month. What was it? If there's no proof, it's pure bullshit, period. Guess the laugh's on me, then. Al, come on! I mean, okay. Okay, maybe something weird happened to you, okay? Well, thanks for the heartfelt vote of confidence. All I'm saying is you gotta throw me a bone here. That's just crazy talk, Al. Al! Al? We should go to the sheriff or call the FBI? Damn it, Barry! They'll kill her! This is not a goddamn debate, <laughs> Barry. I'm going to Lover's Peak. He said to come alone. Okay, okay then. I understand. But you're my best friend and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. Tell me what to do to help and I'll do it. You stay here and if I'm not back by morning, call the cavalry. Oh man. Just be careful with the natives, Al. These yokels are dangerous. Everybody hates a tourist, or it'll be deliverance all over again. Achoo! Seriously, dude, what do I do with all this coffee? I don't get it. Batteries. I wonder this if this is where, uh... Outlast got the whole battery in the video camera shit from. I'll wait here, Al. I'll hold down the fort. I'll be with you in spirit every step of the way, Al. Yeah, yeah. Lock the door now. Shut up. I knew I should have gone to the cops. This wasn't the smartest thing I'd ever done, but I was still angry with Barry for trying to talk me out of it. These people had called me right in the sheriff's station. The cops wouldn't scare them, and they had Alice. show folks as promised our very own dr nelson has just parked his rear end in the studio doc what's your deer fest plan like my plan you make it sound a lot more organized than i ever seem to manage <laughs> <laughs> The lights went out. That means the bad boys are here. I 
Exclamation loot, man. Get the details. The Twilight Zone. Do -do -do. Crime and punishment. The cancer and cures. I am playing it alone in the dark. Kind of. on that page I found came true it knew so dark it'll come back for me you must the lights in the office I have the key okay Rusty hang on I'll be right back whatever Rusty had found a page from the manuscript it would help me understand what had happened The only way to make sure that Rusty was safe was to get the power running and the lights back on. too late. Someone had destroyed the circuit breaker. There was no way to get the lights back on. Rusty! Rusty! The ground was covered with oily patches that looked like liquid darkness. What the fuck hit me? What? Oh, uh, the oil? On the ground? Really? Something had torn a mammoth sized hole in the wall. Please don't feed the animals. Fishing is over. Purchase up, part. License, no bay! Rusty, Rusty, no! Never! Two bears and wolves! Never approach any other wolf closer than 25 yards! Cats must be leased! Even you may find a 
This is annoying. I'm shooting at the dude. The flashlight is basically a... Uh I'm out of ammo. That's awesome. Reach whatever peak. I'm out of ammo. Oh god, I should have went the other way, apparently. Oh, come on, man. I dodged that shit. Oh my god. Whatever. Rusty. Oh my god, I had to go through that shit all over again. The ground was covered with oily patches that looked like liquid darkness. Just need hunting licenses. Something had torn a mammoth-sized hole in the wall. The animals. For those prisoners who purchase a park, license no pay. At all times. Rusty, Rusty, no, never. Two bears and wolves. Never approach any other world. Come closer than Pets must be leashed. Never leave your pet on a door. It is against the law. To remove any virtual objects or historical artifacts from the park grounds. Conserve the ammo, boys. Forget about it, Barry. It's just me going crazy. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. You're not crazy. I wish you were crazy, but you're not crazy. Ow, be careful. 
Stay in the cabin. Don't open the door for anyone. I mean it. It's Alan Wake is the name of the game. Yo, happy new year, zombie talk. Lover's Peak was at the far end of the nature trail. Can I put the hat on? What the fuck? Is there another guy? Oh, there's three guys here. Out of the ammo, three bullets left. No bueno. Happy New Year's Eve, Cappy. Is H1Z1 up and running? Is everybody streaming? No, no problems. This is no bueno. God, dude, why can't I dodge? Reach Lover's Peak. Uh, well, <laughs> did I not dodge that? Okay, whatever. I gotta make it to the light. Oh my god, dude. Yeah, 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 I know he's behind me, Jeebus, man. How am I supposed to see what's going on? Oh, God, just please let me live! Fuck. Is there any way I can get some bullets? I guess I could run, walk backwards. After I'm done sprinting, I can walk backwards. He still rushes me anyway. I can't stop him. But I could buy time. Oh, come on, dude. Fuck that bullshit. God, I was so close! Uh, Alright. Oh, I have bullets. I have 12 bullets now. Finally. 
Fuck that guy. I think I gotta outrun everybody else. Thank you. Oh my god, finally I can finally dodge somebody. What the f Fuck you, man. Yo, yo. Stay away from me, man. I'm I'm running. I'm running. Just just let me live. Oh god, please. <laughs> I walked into that one. I'm walking backwards into the light. Where's the fucking light? Yeah, didn't that, wasn't there I thought there was a light bulb here. Alright, there was no light bulb here. Alright, well. Oh my god, please, why? Uh, Alright, I'm gonna do this again. We got this. What? Where did these two guys come from? There was a light. I had to restart the generator. Dude, I just... Wait, where did this guy come from? Oh my god. Fuck this game. I made it to this light before. Oh my god, fuck you, man. Just go away. Why can't I hit the fucking start button? Well. I love that uh, I couldn't sneak through there. I love this game, man. Alright, so it doesn't spawn three three more homos if I don't kill these these two. It doesn't spawn the rest if I kill these two, so I like how they speed up on me. Oh my god, dude, just die. Alright, this one this one is ranged, so I'm just gonna ah! 
Thank you. Thank you. <sighs> oh my god, it's penis. Bear alert. Awesome. How many manuscripts do I have? I'm missing a page. What happens if you're missing a lot of pages? I'm missing two pages. There's one dude. Yeah, there's uh, is that four dudes? Uh, this one's gonna take three bullets. Oh my god! Oh my god, am I supposed to live through all this? Nothing, pages are more for more background story. I got you. 14 bullets. The big guy takes six shots. That means I can kill two more guys after then. There was like three guys. This is just a pain in the ass, dude. Oh my god, can I just run to the freaking light place? Place! Thank you. These other guys, I just have to run past. I can't kill them. Two bullets. I need more bullets. I still would like to know what I do with these thermoses. I have no idea what these thermoses are good for. Oh, <laughs> you could jump to your death. Oh, do I have to do that over again? Oh, oh my god, dude. Why? Why? Loaded ink? I think so. I don't know, though. I'll try playing it after this episode's over. Of this game. I just killed myself. All right, let me uh, run back to my uh, light.
Yeah, yeah, get away from me. Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got one bullet left and one butthole alive. What's this? It's Alan Wake. I still don't know what these thermoses are for, but I guess, you know, I'll get one. I'll get them for whatever reason. God, I hate this shit. Backwards. <laughs> Whatever. I just need to make it to the next light. Those are just collectible items. Yo, Tiger D, God bless you too, man. Happy New Year. I don't even think this game has headshots, right? There's no headshots in this game, right, Selgon? If there were, I'd just be doing headshots, but I don't think that there's, I don't think there are headshots. It's just three body shots. The tree this ring was cut from start, started growing in 1846, the year the Oregon Treaty was signed. Other notable events marked on the rings. 1853, the Washington Territory was formed. 1878, the founding of the bright, the uh, tree fell by storm. All right, later, Spaghetti Sierra. God, he chased me down? Really? <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> oh, man.
I would like more bullets, please. Yeah, no headshots in this game, exactly. I know, I wish there was an AR-15 and a shotgun in this game. Flashlights, kid stuff. The flares will keep the bastards away. Yeah, this is an old ass game. You can I think. see them too? Hell, of course I see them. Come on, we gotta move. Why? <laughs> because that's the way the story goes. Yeah, but. Let's move! I lost my gun back there. Oh, I've got a gun. Just keep that light steady on him. It took a moment, but then. I recognized him. He'd been on the ferry when I first arrived here with Alice. He knew my name. We were headed in the direction of Lover's Peak. There was no way this was a coincidence. He was the kidnapper. Come on, Wake. You better keep up. What the fuck? from the emergency box to hold them off while I get these boards off. Give me the gun. Yeah, <laughs> no can do, Wake. Are you kidding? Give me the gun! No time for back talk. Hold them off, damn it. A little longer. Scare them off. Get some light on those bastards! That'll keep them off us! Just a little longer! I almost got it! Okay, it's open! Move it or lose it! Better get ready. They'll be on us soon. Give me a gun, you bitch. I have seven flares. This is it, Wake. The last stand. There's more flares here. Get ready. We fight them as long as they keep coming. Give me the goddamn gun. They're coming. That's not how this goes. Get with the program, Wake. Yeah, get with the program. What the hell are you doing, dude?
guy behind us. I saw a thermos over here. Right, 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 nothing to it. Let's cut the act now. Where's my wife? I knew you were gonna say that. I read it all before. You're a hell of a writer. Congratulations. You're gonna bring about something glorious and terrible once we get you some uh, proper editorial control. What the hell are you talking about? Where's Alice? I want the entire manuscript, or she's gonna suffer bad. You touch your wall. because he thought it held some magical power. But I had no manuscript to give him. I had to get back to Barry and figure out my next move. What's up, Fahad? Just playing some Alan Wake, man. H1Z1's, uh... Been pretty shit today. I, anybody, can anybody verify if H1Z1's up and running fine right now for everybody? God, I hate these fucking peckers. Where, where do I go get this? I gotta go this way. Bear trap. Alright. I can't unset it, so I guess I'm supposed to I'll just avoid it. Avoid bear traps. Oh shit, there's one right there. A lot of ammo. Probably means I'm gonna have to be killing a lot of people. Although, oh, I'm at max. won't uh, let me collect more, but at least I know where there's more ammo. <gasps> no! Oh my god, if I fall to my death right here, I'm gonna be angry. Fuck, dude. Ah. Uh... No! Come back 
here. I swear I'll kill you if you hurt Alice. Do you hear me? Come back here! He had Alice, and he wanted the manuscript because he thought it held some magical power. But I had no manuscript to give him. I had to get back to Barry and figure out my next move. Is there a quick save feature in this game? No, there's no quick save. You just gotta play it throw, man. Bear traps. Wow, I just hear music change. I haven't heard that before. Didn't hear it last run. Not sure why I heard it this run. How am I supposed to pick up this manuscript without falling over? Oh, there you go. Thank you. WhatsApp is down? Wow. I made a checkpoint, so that means that's a save, right? I'm out of batteries? I just picked up batteries. What the fuck, man? God, turn around. <laughs> wasted. Didn't even have to waste a bullet. Oh shit! A hunting rifle.
Oh my god, they're just coming out of the woodwork. What the freak? Can I turn around? What the fuck am I doing? Wow, man. Wow. I made it. Alright, Ziggy. Thanks, man. Reach the top of the hill. How do I get to the other side? Reach the top of the mill. Oh. Thought it said hill. I'm like, what? Hill? Make it through the woods. Another heart. 
Alright, more ammo. I have a feeling the logs are gonna roll down on me. Come on, man! Die! Oh shit. Monsters, man. I want to save that hunting rifle. Ah, uh, fuck, I can't waste... Yeah, I wanna save... I should save all the hunting rifle shots. I should have saved it for this guy, probably. I can't go back and get the ammo. Damn it. Uh. I think I'm almost there, man. I think I'm almost there. Episode's almost over. Just make sure you keep the lights on. I still had to reach Barry at the cabin, but at least I was out of the woods. to get the car from the locked garage. It would get me back to Barry faster, and the headlights were a welcome bonus. Oh, hunting rifle ammo in the woman's uh, bathroom. H1Z1 is not the only play only game with uh Ammo and weapons in a weird spot. Find garage keys. Got it. A story is not a machine that does what you tell it. A story is a beast with a life of its own. 
You can create it, shape it, but as the story grows, it starts wanting things of its own. Change one thing and you set off a chain reaction of events that spreads through the whole thing. The characters have to be true to themselves. The events need to follow a logic that fits the story. A single flaw and the magic is gone. The story dies. Alice dies. Oh, you bitch! So, apparently I'm in like a story... It's just like into the mouth of madness. Basically, I'm, I'm basically in my own story or writing my own story, I think. I don't think this is Alice. He's like... Yeah. I don't think it's real, man. Why can't I kill this guy? Can I kill him with lights? There we go. Oh my god, do I want that thermos? I kind of want that thermos. I like how my doors are gone. I guess I go on on foot here. Ay, 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 ay. The flare gun was probably the best weapon I could imagine against the dark things I was facing. Oh, 
All right, that's a one shot with a foot. Oh, it's not a one shot. Oh, yeah, it is a one shot. <laughs> Maybe I should save some uh, save some ammo. I just wasted two flares. It's like a rocket launcher. It was the kidnapper. You son of a bitch! Where's my wife? Enough horseplay, wake! You deliver the manuscript, and you can have your woman back. Simple as that. I don't... Listen. Listen. I'm gonna need time to finish it. I still need to write the ending. I need... a week. It's not done? I need a week. Two days! The old Bright Falls coal mine is nearby. You can find it easy, city boy. Yeah, what's up, Eric? building, there at noon. You bring the manuscript, you'll get your wife. If not, well, uh, get me. Yes, yes, I, I get you. Uh, where the fuck am I? This was not the spot, apparently. Oh, it's the one all the way up there. Barry had talked about birds over the phone. Save Barry from the birds. Al! Al, I am so glad you're here. A couple of them got in here before I blocked the chimney. This isn't normal. These birds are weird. Okay. How to use all my flares? Hey, Al. I'm, I'm sorry for thinking you were having a psychotic episode, man. I sent Barry to the town to ask around about a man fitting the kidnapper's description. He'd go through the archives of the local paper. Perhaps he could learn something, anything about the island and the cabin that had disappeared. The man wanted a manuscript. 
I had to try to write him one to get Alice back. For me, the supernatural had always been nothing but a metaphor for the human psyche, a tool to use in writing fiction. Now, it was happening for real, and I couldn't put a single word on paper. Duh, just write what, what's happened to you, Dan. Barry Wheeler speaking. This is Rose. Rose? I found Mr. Wake's pages. Oh, you sweet, brilliant girl. Could you and Mr. Wake come get them? I live in the trailer park outside the town. We'll be there in less than an hour. Bye now. See you soon. Have a great day. Hope you come back soon. Welcome, Welcome to, to the Old Deer Diner. Good girl. Let me go take a pee and then a drink and then we'll start H1Z1. Hopefully we won't get any problems playing H1Z1. Alan Wake. Alice has been kidnapped. Alan. 